What's going on, everybody? Um, so I have an update for you on my Subaru. I've got a 2009 Subaru WRX STI. Let me, I'm trying to hide what I have in front of me, so let me just back up. But it's right here. So a little update on it. Um, I want to keep you guys in loop of what's going on. So as you know, she has uh, started making knock knock noises a few months ago and unfortunately is uh, my, the engine might be leaving us. So she'll probably become holy soon. Not hoping for that. But I have acquired something and I just finished disassembling it and I wanted to show you guys through it. Let me turn the camera around. So this is what I've acquired. This is a 2016 EJ257. I've split the K-SAVs on it, completely disassembled it yesterday. Marked down the cylinders, driver side, passenger side. Because um, this one has had some issues with it failing. Um, so I pulled out, these are the, the crank bearings. So these are the, uh, this is the main thrust bearing. Then these are all in order, rear to front. So rear, front. Um, these are the rod bearings. These are the ones that spun. These are the ones that came off. So this tells me just the where the wear patterns are that it had some, look to be a little detonation. Um, not too concerned it could just be worn because the bearing material spun through the engine um, but whatever the case is is that i pulled the crank out of it um, and looked at all of the bearing journals um, and what condition they are in so as you can see this is the one that's spun and you can grab hold with your fingernail every single other one you can't smooth you can't grab hold with anything so like even this one you can't even grab hold of with your fingernail that's the one that spun i inspected all the other bearings um and the tolerances on them that one looks a little worn and high centered or a little divot in the middle of it I think I can just polish that up and it'd be okay. I'm not trying to take that risk as this is just something that I want to do right. So a new crank is not too expensive. The only thing is I'll just have to tolerance these and figure out if they're the same width as those. And if they are, I will do a home polish on it. I'm not going to hold myself to it yet. So... I do know for a fact I'm going to need a new connecting rod because the insides, well, she's a little, she's a little done. So she's just a little too spun for me to really be comfortable with it. So Eagle makes a set of connecting rods that are $340 for the set. Um, so I'm just going to do those new bearings, you know, ARP 2000 rod bolts, you know, just the basics on it to make sure the bottom end's good. And then I don't think the Eagles work with these pistons, so I will go to an aftermarket piston, most likely a manly piston, because that's just what seems to work best. And then this will just get a treatment. Um, I'll drop it off at a machine shop and have them just clean it. That's literally all I want. And they'll just have to true the um, deck height. I don't think it needs a deck at all. I think it just needs to be trued up, which they just measure from this corner here to the other corner there to make sure that it isn't warped or shifted in any other way. Um, they do that all the way. So they check and see if it's level completely. First things first, the new crank for these engines isn't actually super expensive. The machine shop that I talked to quoted me over the phone without looking at it. Keep that in mind, without looking at it, 160 bucks just to polish it up. And they said, if you'll have to grind it, it's going to be a little bit more. I'm really just debating on just cutting my, you know, my ties with it and, 
and just going straight up to a new crank because new cranks are 300 and something, 360 bucks I think it is. But I still need to get a new rod, new rod bearings, new thrust bearings, new main bearings. Um, so new bearings in general, seal everything up, new plugs, um, the wrist pins, you know, all the basics on getting the internals correct for this engine. Once I have this engine completely assembled, cleaned, and resealed, I'm going to take the engine that's out of my car over there, pull the heads off of it, and then put it on this engine after I go and get those heads decked. Um, decking is it's same thing. It's going to true it up, but instead of just checking to see if it's true, this time they're actually going to grind them flat and mill them true. Um, that's what a deck would be. This is just checking deck level and deck height when they, you know, flat bar it. I could probably do that right now, but I don't see a sense in doing so because it's not cleaned yet. Um, as far as that, though, I think this what my plan is. Um, ran into an issue when I was disassembling it. I stripped this out. This is to get the wrist pin cover off. So... That's an issue. Every other surface on here looks really good condition though. The only thing is I'll just need to re-RTV the block when I put it all back together. But I'm gonna wait until I get it all cleaned. So I'm gonna send it off to get cleaned first, drop it off there, and then you know move on. We'll figure out a, a solution. And then this plug right here goes like so. So, and it's you can see thread sealed but yeah that's where the update is right now um it's just you know all on the workbench case halves are not bolted down all the case bolts here i'm not gonna reuse these you really shouldn't reuse your case bolts and um, when i say case bolts i'm talking about the main case bolts because the main case bolts are very um you rely on them a lot, so I'm just going to replace them with OEM ones. They're cheap enough to where you really should. I don't know if they're stretched to yield. I don't think they are, but I don't want to reuse them if I can avoid that. So I'm just going to get new case bolts for it. You know, make sure everything's good on my end. I don't want this blowing up. I don't want to have any issues down the road. Because my, my thing is, is if I do all the work now, I don't want to go back and redo any of the work. So... You're going to see a, a motor build here shortly. But I just wanted to give you guys an update video on what's going on. Um, I have been in out of the loop trying to figure this all out. I do have a video of the Subaru. I did the front brakes on it. So I did the just like a pad slap to it. And then I also did the power steering deal. Um, I'm having power steering issues with it as well. But... I did a video on that. I just have to edit it and put it up. But in case you guys didn't know, this is a 2009, very, very disgustingly dirty STI. Um, it does go off to the body shop uh, here on next week. Um, it was supposed to go this week. Long story, it didn't go this week, but somebody actually hit me, came across the road and this is the repair that I did. So you, I've taped together the lights and put them all kind of back into place just to make it like somewhat workable. Um, the inside of the lens here is shattered. There's pieces in there, as you can see. This is because she cracked it and caused that damage. This is because it's zip tied into place. Um, it didn't want it falling out. Clip's gone or the whole vent's gone. They're replacing the fender, the fender liner on the inside of the wheel on this side. This, the other side doesn't have one due to the intake. Um, this piece right here, the full under tray that goes in. Um, they're also going to be doing the new headlights, a hood, a new fender, and a new bumper. I don't know if they're going to be replacing this grill or not, and they're supposed to be cleaning this other headlight to match this yellowed headlight right here. Really don't know what the whole case is with that. I think they're also supposed to be replacing the fog lamp assembly as well on this side, and then fixing the one that's over there on that side. Um, 
and then they're gonna do a full inspection on the underside of the car as it's all rod knocking. So that's the current state this car's in. I need a lot of money to get this fixed and situated so I can go back to work and on the BMW. The motor for that thing is built. Um, it's full Gen 4 rotating assembly. Uh, it's got a lot of parts into that. So yeah, that thing's got a lot of parts in it. Um, full Gen 4 rods, Gen 4 flat top pistons, um, gapped rings, new main bearings, new rod bearings, you know, the whole deal that works. So my thing is, is that once I have that uh, all situated up, and in it, I need to find a transmission for it. I want to go through the engine again after I just built it to make sure I tolerance everything correctly. I know the rings are fine. The problem is, is that I don't think I put the bearings on correctly and I want to go back before I even spin it over and double check that. It doesn't hurt to double check things. So I want to go through that one last time, make sure I've you know crossed my T's and dotted my I's and then seal that up once i seal it up it's good to go in the car it'll sit in the car until i find a transmission for it i'll have it all bolted up you know that whole ordeal i need exhaust valves for it too for the heads that i actually have in the trunk of the subaru um, i got a set of corvette heads i need to get the exhaust valves ordered so i can put those in lap them put the valve springs on which are also sitting right here on my uh, workbench and then i should be all good so I'm just hoping everything right now has to pan out, you know, to the T almost. And pretty much waiting right now on the body shop for everything to happen. Because once the car goes to the body shop, I start my new job and start working and creating income. So, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Oh, the other thing is the headers for the E36 are right here. Um, so that's a good thing. But yeah, quick update video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, leave it down in the comments. I'll try the best I can to get back to you guys. Um, I'm really hoping that I can get the Subaru fixed. It's my daily, and I've been driving around for three months with a rod knock. I am just don't know why. I, I don't know how long it's lasted like that, but I don't know how much longer it's got. And I'm getting concerned. It's making more and more fun, funky noises. Um, so if you would, please like, and subscribe, I'll make sure to keep this up. And, um, I think it's really healthy for me too. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comments, please like, and subscribe. See you guys later.